to YoungHollywood.com. Hi, Young Hollywood. I'm Miriam backstage at the Roxy with the super hot, super rock and roll Chelsea Girls. Tell us, how did Chelsea Girls come about? When I was playing some shows with Camp Freddy, and every time I walked off stage, I kept thinking that there needed to be an all-girl band that pretty much blew all the boys out of the water. And so I put together a wish list of the best drummer and the best guitar player. And the only problem was we could not find a singer. I was like, who's gonna be able to hit notes like Pat Benatar, who's got a four octave range that's smoking hot. And she sang Barracuda with her old band for us and like halfway through the first verse, she had the job. You're basically an opera singer, correct? Yeah, absolutely. I trained uh, from the time I was 10 singing opera and doing musicals and started doing rock and roll in high school as in Miss It's Car Band. I was in Motley Crue. I played with them for a while. I played with Hole. I played with Eagles of Death Metal and Peaches. Well, there's definitely an 80s vibe here. It feels like, you know, you're on the Sunset Strip, mid to late 80s. What is it about that time in rock and roll that appeals to you guys? That's the time that this place was alive with the, the most magic, probably, that most people would associate with the Sunset Strip and the kind of songs we're playing in the set list. It's based on party songs and anthems. We don't want to play stuff that really is like a downer, you know. And sometimes we have guests, so it kind of makes it more fun for them to feel like they're coming to an event and not just some random boring show. You guys always have great guests. I've seen Stephen Piercy from Rat here. You had Quiet Riot, Motorhead. Who do you have tonight? We have Macy Gray joining us on stage. She's going to be singing Creep. And Carmen Electra, she'll be also singing. This is her Chelsea Girls debut. So how did Carmen Electra end up being the fifth sort of the unofficial member. She's a buddy of mine and Carmen's just rad. She's a totally down rock and roll chick yeah, and absolutely. she likes to line herself up with anything that's hot and new and real. Carmen, how is it that you ended up being the MC and host for The Chelsea Girl? Because I've actually been the biggest fan of Corey's. I've met her a few times and I was like, man, this chick is so rad, you know? Tattoos, six feet tall, and I've always admired women that are musicians and that can play music. You can sing. You're singing tonight, right? Um, no, I don't. I, I would say it's talking. talking. Talk, yeah, sexy, okay. talking. sexy talking. I consider myself to be a dancer. What is it about rock and roll that's so sexy to you? I think anything that's rebellious and sort of goes against the grain to me is appealing and I guess that's what rock and roll is, is all about. What's your favorite song in the repertoire? I would have to say Barracuda. I'm Good choice. Still, because you know, it's such a hard song, you know, I mean, the fact that Tuesday can come out and sing Barracuda, I mean, it blows everyone away and, and so. She definitely owns it vocally. Yeah. You well, don't want to follow her at karaoke, that's no. for sure. It's not cool at all. No, uh-uh. <laughs>